my god, there's a fly in here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the second part to my unboxing reviews. So this is going to be the review for the bum bag and let's just get straight into it. Alrighty, so let's just start with the general overview of this bag. So it is the Louis Vuitton bum bag in the monogram canvas they also do actually make the bum bag in two different types of leather it's like this off-white cream leathered bum bag and they also have it in black which i actually really like the cream one to be honest but i'm still a monogram girl at heart of course you guys know so this is what the bag looks like in the front you have the vachetta tab that says the louis vuitton and then it comes with the two zippers right here and i will open and close that later the zippers also have the LV signature stamped on top of it, which is a nice detail. Also this ring right here that's supposedly for silk scarves or even maybe a keychain, I don't know. And then the straps of the bum bag are the Vachetta leather, so it's the untreated leather. So over time, I know that this will get darker since this is basically brand new. It's still really like that nice light beige color, but it definitely will get more honey and patina over time. The strap is just your traditional belt buckle strap right here, and it can get adjusted more. Right over here and then on the strap buckle it actually has a really nice detail it says louis vuitton right on top i really appreciate like the minute little details that any brand adds to either the hardware or the little pieces of leather and all that stuff i i just really like those like little things and then this is what the top of the bum bag looks like it also says louis vuitton right here again vachetta leather and then this bum bag does have two compartments so there's a compartment on the back which is honestly pretty decently sized it's just like this very good amount of space right over here and then obviously it has the main compartment in the front so it has two zippers so it does have this flap which to be honest is a bit annoying that you have to fold over like this to expose the zipper and then a lot of people actually do recommend that before you open your bum bag to always lift up the straps instead of for example let's say it's down like this and people try to open it it tends to rub against the canvas and you could potentially ruin it so just to be safe always make sure to roll the tab up and then open it it is a little bit of a hassle to be honest but it's still really cute nonetheless i honestly wonder if since they made an improved version of the palm springs mini backpack because of the zipper and then maybe in one to two years time they actually might adjust this flap right here of canvas and actually make it smaller or if anything even make the zipper exposed like they did with the palm springs mini backpack but anyways so the zipper goes all the way around like this and then you have the inside which is just one main compartment there's no pockets or anything on the inside and if people are wondering where this bum bag was made in it is made in france so in terms of the straps for this bag like i said before it is just your traditional belt buckle strap so you can adjust it let me just show you by putting it at whatever notch you want so I'll just do it for the sake of the video in case anyone's confused you just adjust it to whatever notch you want to i actually like to do it in the third perforated hole that's the sizing that i like it as but there's actually two ways to adjust it so you can adjust it on the belt buckle side and then you can also adjust it on this side so you can pull the vachetta leather in like this if you want to make it shorter or longer and then just pull it down so my only issue with the adjustments on this side is because when you first get the bum bag at least for me it was already pre-adjusted to let's say a factory setting and you can see right here obviously i have adjusted it since and i made it shorter i don't know if the camera can pick it up and i don't know if the camera can pick it up but there's actually two creases one on the top and one on the bottom so it's right over here if you can see that so those two creases were from this buckle right here when it was pre-adjusted so essentially my main concern is as it patinas over time it's going to patina in the position that you have it on so if you tend to adjust this frequently if you make it longer make it shorter it's going to make the patina very uneven and it's also since this leather is untreated it's gonna cause these creases to show and especially because it's this color the creases will be more noticeable i would say over time so my biggest recommendation is to just keep it at the setting that you would normally wear it at and try not to adjust it that often but that's just that's just me 
obviously since i haven't had this bag for that long i can't give an exact estimation of how long it's going to take for everything to patina and all that stuff it just really goes with how long you wear it outside for how often you wear it if you keep it in good condition and all that stuff you know what's so funny is that unlike the palm springs mini the bum bag i haven't been following it for so long i've actually started wanting this bag because i actually had a lululemon bum bag which let me grab for you really quick just to show you so just a quick random fact so other than like luxury and designer brands i actually was really obsessed with collecting lululemon bags and i know that sounds really silly i'm i have a very collector mentality when i have one thing of something i just want to have everything else you just get into this zone where you want that in every different kind so the reason why i actually ended up wanting the louis vuitton bum bag was because of this bum bag right over here so this is a lululemon bum bag i'm not going to talk too much about it but initially i actually bought this was to bring with me to the gym so i started wearing this to the gym and then i noticed how convenient it was to carry a bag like this and then just have it hanging on your chest and it was so easy for me to just go in and out if i needed to pay for something i could literally just zip it up and close and just like check things put things back hold it i was very hands-free because even with a crossbody bag you still kind of have that movement where you're kind of restricted because it's like if you have to grab let's say something off the ground most people push their crossbody bags to the side whereas having this on your chest it's really 100% ultimate hands-free was really nice so then I started looking into like oh do they have designer bum bags and oh lo and behold there's tons of them like tons of them almost every single brand has their own version of a bum bag there's like a Chanel bum bag a Gucci bum bag right and I had no idea my mind was literally like well, the reason why i got into the lv bum bag was actually because of the style aesthetic of just a bum bag in general it's just so convenient it's the definition of convenience so the, conceptually it's very similar but obviously completely different because it's not structured at all and then we have the louis vuitton bum bag which obviously has way more structure to it it's made obviously with canvas and leather so the side by side comparison obviously again like i said the louis vuitton one has more structure this is very flat the straps are similar in terms of they're both adjustable like this and then they both are able to be adjusted to easily the same length that i need it to be to go around my chest and a little tip if you're not used to wearing bum bags because to be honest when i first bought my lululemon one i didn't know how to wear it because it's called a bum bag but i wear it on my chest because i don't know about you guys but like my butt is not that big so there's no way that this could like fall on top of my butt like it would literally just slide down <laughs> same same goes with this one no matter how tight i make this i highly doubt this could actually be a bum bag for me okay this is super unrelated but i'll do a size comparison between the bum bag just so if you want to see like how big it is versus the nano speedy so this is a size comparison between the nano speedy and the bum bag so then you can just see the comparison of size in case some of you guys already have the nano speedy and you're thinking of getting the bum bag or you're thinking of getting either or maybe the bum bag might be too big and the nano speedy is more your size game you know alrighty so let's just go with the funnest part of most bag reviews is what fits inside the bag so i'm going to lift this because safety first and open it and i'm just gonna put in a bunch of stuff and we'll see until it gets full this time i actually brought a standard size water bottle so i have a regular standard size arrowhead water bottle so this would be similar to crystal geyser kirkland just your basic one so fits in here and then i'm also gonna put in my glasses case i'm gonna put in my car keys with also airpods and a pepper spray I'm gonna put in this little pouch that I have that's filled and then I'm gonna try to fit in my wallet okay so it still is able to close let me see if I can fit in one more thing so I'm gonna try to fit in my mini pochette honestly I feel like this would be cutting it close but let's just see so as you can see the mini pochette actually I feel like is hitting its max capacity so I wouldn't put that in but oh, so let me put in my phone so i have the iphone 8 plus so i'm gonna put this in at the top 
and that fits perfectly and then we're just gonna close it out hold on okay and then just fold it over and boom actually fits it's pretty weighty to be honest but it actually fits and then let me see as this is so stuffed i'm gonna see if i can fit stuff in the back side as well so there is still room to put stuff in the back flap but i honestly feel like it would have to be something flat so maybe a phone would go on this side or a compact so i'm gonna put a compact in here Ooh, let's see if i can fit a reusable straw so i have a reusable straw Okay, the reusable straw doesn't fit. I think the length of the straw is just wrong. That's why. But let me see if I can put some mints in too. So as you can see, there's a compact in here and some mints in here. And I honestly still have some space to put maybe even cash or maybe a little coin purse or maybe even a card holder. So the back, I feel like, is more catered towards flatter items. Obviously, it makes sense because if you're holding this against your chest, which is how most people wear it, or if you are able to use this as a bum bag, it is still better to put flat things on the back side just so it's not bumpy, you know, when it's like held against your body. So I'm going to take everything out and we're going to refill it again. So round two of what fits inside of this. So I'm going to actually start off with my mini pochette first this time. And then place it in here, if you can see that. And then I'm going to put in my phone. And I'm going to put in my boba straw. It's a reusable one, so it's metal. And I'm going to put in my keys again. Wallet. And then glasses case. And then let's just see how. Hold on. Oh, perfect. So it still fits pretty comfortably. Let me just zip it up really quick. And there we go. So still super comfortable. And like I said, you can fit flat things in the back. So I would suggest a card holder, mints, gum, just something like that. And yeah, perfect. So the thing that I really like about the bum bag, not only is the style really nice, but I just love that it's able to fit so much. Even though I'm not a person that carries a lot of things with me, it's really, really nice that I'm able to even put in a small portable water bottle in here. Like if I just had a small water bottle, my wallet, keys, I'm good to go. Ooh, and maybe a Dior lip glow, but that's about it and then I'd be completely content so I'm really happy with the way that this is able to fit a lot of items alrighty so let's just talk about price really quick for this bag so this bag I believe hold on where's my phone alrighty so this bum bag retails for $1,690 the ones that are leather are a little bit more expensive I think it's like $300 more expensive or something like that because obviously canvas is usually cheaper than leather of course yeah, so that's the price for this bag. I just love the style aesthetic of this bag. It is kind of trendy because it's a bum bag, but I don't know. I just love how practical it is. I remember when I went to the Louis Vuitton store and I was talking to the SA that I was initially going to buy this bag from her. And I was telling her how I was debating between the Palm Springs Mini and the bum bag because I initially was only going to get one of them. And when I told her that I was deciding between both of them, she actually gave me her recommendation, which was actually the bum bag. She told me that she liked the bum bag more than the palm springs mini that she thought the palm springs mini was cute but she says the bum bag she just uses every single day she loves this she always wears this for travel leisure casual whatever it is she says that she just the moment she bought this she just couldn't stop using it it's really just the size of it and how portable it is because for example when you have a backpack obviously if you want to take something out of your backpack you have to sling it over to the front or to the side and open it like that it's not that much of an inconvenience but a bum bag especially when you hold it like this it's super super easy to just grab something so for example let's say you need to pay for something really quick all you need to do is just flip this up and then just open the zipper like this and then you can just grab whatever you need to grab you don't have to bother trying to sling something over or deal with straps or anything um, not saying there's anything wrong with a backpack of course i love backpacks but this type of style just really it's just so easy to use i feel like i say that for so many of my bags that i have but this is really just so easy to use and last but not least i'm going to insert some mod shots for you guys so you can see how it looks on someone with my body frame right now
hope you found this mini review helpful. If you have any questions about the bum bag or even the Palm Springs mini backpack, then just leave me a comment down below. And I have been getting some questions that people wanted me to do a review on the Dior small book tote that I do also have. So if you would like to see a review on the book tote, then just please give this video a thumbs up. And if this video hits maybe 50 thumbs up, um, I'll get that video going for you guys. But yeah, so like always, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe. It really helps support my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys! Thank you.